Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazer. This week, we're going to read the story Crafty Chloe by Kelly DiPuccio. And then we're going to make some adorable origami chickens. So here we go. Crafting Crafty Chloe. This is Chloe. Chloe isn't very good at sports. Video games were never her thing. And when she took dance lessons, she had the grace of a camel in roller skates. What Chloe is very good at is making stuff. She knows that a whole new outfit can be made out of dad's old shirts and that coffee filters make very good flower hats for show and tell and that anything becomes less boring with googly eyes on it. Chloe is very good at making clothes too. Her dog Bert, pictured here and here and here, is very good at wearing them. One day, Chloe went shopping to look for a birthday present for her best friend, Emma. She looked at diaries and drumsticks, jewelry boxes and jump ropes, but nothing seemed just right. And then Chloe saw her, Violet. Of course, all Emma, all Emma ever talked about was her flower girl dolls. She had all of them except the new girl, Violet. Chloe reached for the doll and felt a tap on her shoulder. She turned around and there was London with her arms wrapped around Violet. If you're looking for a gift for Emma, she said extra sweetly, I already found the perfect present. Chloe's smile faded. She shrugged, pretending not to care. That's okay, because I'm going to make her something special that you can't even buy in a store. You're going to make her something? London cried in disbelief. She wrinkled up her nose as if Chloe had just announced she was going to give Emma a jar of pickles for her birthday. Chloe stood there feeling like a dried up glue stick. She didn't know what to say. It's going to be very purple, came out of her mouth. London made a snorty laugh. Well, <laughs> good luck with that. That afternoon, Chloe started hopelessly into her pile of craft supplies. A macaroni necklace? Nah. A coffee mug? Nope. A sock monkey? Definitely not. Nothing she thought of seemed more perfect than a violet doll. Chloe came down for dinner a few hours later covered in blue spots. She placed the get well card she had made for herself on the table. <coughs> Chloe's father raised his eyebrows. Chloe's mother checked her for a fever. Chloe's baby brother spit out his green beans. And Bert, pictured here and here and here, made faces. Make all the faces you like, Chloe groaned. I have chicken pops and I can't go to the party tomorrow. What a shame, her mother said. Emma's such a good friend and you'll miss the pony rides. The pony? Darn. Chloe had forgotten all about the pony. And Emma really was a good friend. Luckily for Chloe, her chicken pops were the washable kind. After dinner, Chloe went to her room to doodle. Doodling helps her think. Thinking gives her ideas. Some ideas are pretty spectacular and require lots of glitter. Chloe worked late into the night, gluing and painting and sewing. When she finished, she stood back and admired her work. She liked it. But would Emma? The next day, Chloe walked to Emma's house carrying a very big box. London clicked ahead of her in sparkly heels, swinging her gift bag. Click, 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 trip. London fell, the gift bag flew, and Violet flopped. Right into a puddle. Splash! London grabbed Violet. London's little dog grabbed Violet, too. London roared, drop it! The dress ripped and the dog ran. What am I going to do? London wailed. 
I can't give Emma a naked doll. More than all the googly eyes in the world, Chloe wanted to say, well, good luck with that. But instead, she lifted the lid on her box and she pulled out a perfectly purple dress. She can wear this. London reached for the dress. Did you really make this, she squealed? It's adorable. Chloe's eyes lit up like rhinestones. My grandma taught me how to sew, she said proudly. The girls dressed Violet in her new outfit. London peeked inside the box. Whoa, did you make that too? Chloe nodded again. Do you think Emma will like it? London smiled. I think she's going to love it. And she did. The end. And that is the story of Crafty Chloe. So this week, we're going to make some adorable origami chickens. And you can see here, I made two. So the word origami is Japanese and it is the art of folding paper into different things. Um, and here we have two chickens and we call the girl chickens hens and the boy chickens roosters. So I'm gonna show you how we make these adorable little origami chickens right now. So you're gonna need some paper. So you're gonna use whatever color chicken you want. They're usually yellow, sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're white. Um, you can do a fantasy chicken if you like. You're also gonna need a little white for the eyes. A glue stick, scissors, and two things to color with, a black and a red. Could be marker, crayon, color pencil, all of those will work just fine. So to start, we are going to, I think I'm gonna use the orange for my chicken this time. So you're gonna take your little square and we're going to fold it in half, corner to corner. So we're gonna turn that square into a triangle. So we fold it, crease it down, it doesn't have to be perfect if the corners don't line up. Then we're going to open it back up. I'm going to fold the top up, not all the way, but maybe about halfway. Crease that down. And then I'm going to fold these two sides in for the chicken's wings. There's one wing. Two wings. And if you get confused at home, you can always pause or rewind and get it better. Then I'm going to take this little piece that's sticking up and fold that down. That's going to be our chicken's beak. And that is it for folding my chicken. So next I'm going to take a black <coughs> and I'm going to make the wings. So I'm going to follow this line. And I'm gonna trace along that line and then I'm gonna make kind of a cloud line on this side. And you know a cloud line is when you go swoosh, swoosh, swoosh and do those little bumps. I'm gonna do that again over here so you can see what that looks like. Straight line and then three little curves. Then up here, I'm gonna trace around this little triangle to make it stand out because we wanna see that chicken's beak. And then I'm also gonna follow this and we know chickens don't really have pointed heads, they're more rounded, and they have feathers on top. So I'm gonna follow that with a, turn it into a curve, and then I'm gonna add three little bumps up here. So we did three bumps here, three bumps there. Now for the eyes, you could just draw the eyes on, but I am going to draw them on white paper and cut them out. So I think they'll stand out a little bit better. So I'm going to cut these out and I'm not going to cut right on the line. I'm going to cut around it and I'm going to use my little glue stick. Put those on there. Now I'm going to color in my beak and the little feathers up at the top. Make those red, make those stand out too. 
And then another little touch I'm going to do just to make it look a little neater is I am going to cut out this extra space up here. And just like I did the eyes, I'm going to still leave a little space around the lines that I drew. So I just want to curve this, make it a little softer so it doesn't look as pointed and harsh. All right, I'll get those out of there. So now my chicken is pretty much done, except I need to make the feet and the legs. So I'm going to take this paper and fold it in half. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if I fold the paper and then cut, then I have two identical shapes. And I can use those to make the legs. And this one, I'm going to make the feet. And we're going to do the feet just like we did here. So I'm going to start with a U shape. And then I'm going to draw three curves just like we were doing there to make chicken feet. I'm going to cut that out, and there I'll get two feet and only have to cut once. Now, for our little chicken legs, we're going to make those textured. So we're going to make a little crinkle fold. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. So you're going to take your strip, fold just a little bit like that, and then I'm going to fold it again and again, and you just go back and forth. If you can see how I do that, fold it and then fold it and go back and forth just like that. So then when I finish and then do it, now my chicken leg has some texture. It's gonna stick out, look a little more interesting than just a flat little piece of paper. So to do that, hold this up close, fold and fold fold and you just go back and forth and back and forth and there we go and then the final step to construct the chicken put a little glue on here put a little glue there now I'm gonna put these behind the chicken Push down really hard, make sure those stick. And I'm gonna put that down. It's always a good idea after you glue something to let it sit for a minute and not move it so that it, the glue can attach on there really well. And then I'm gonna add these little feet to the bottom. And my final, final step is if you've ever seen a chicken, you know that they are feathery, so we're going to add some little U-shaped lines to give it that texture that looks like feathers. So I'm going to do those all over the wings with my black crayon marker, whatever you got, colored pencil. So I'm going to do those all over to give the illusion of feathers on my chicken. All right. And there you have it, our beautiful origami chicken. So let me put my, let me put maybe this is the, the whole chicken family. We got the, the rooster dad, the hen mom, and the little baby chick here. So I hope you guys enjoy making these beautiful little origami chickens, and we'll see you next time.